Hello and welcome back to Tinker Talks Guns. One more update on the Latter Day Teutonics. It now has sights. Now, the last video, it did not cycle Blazer Brass Ammo or Magtech range ammo very well. These are the 115 grain round nose, uh, full metal case, bog standard stuff. And uh, so I loaded some spicier loads using Magtech primers. And while it had no trouble igniting the Magtech primers in Magtech ammo, as you can see from the video, it did not like them at all today. But now it cycles Blazer Brass just fine. Everything's a trade-off, apparently. Very strange. So we'll take a brief look at the tabletop at what has changed and uh, like that. Okay, as you can see, the only real major change that's visible from last time are the sights. And yesterday I spent the day over at a friend's who has a milling machine and the proper cutters. And he cut the dovetail at the front for this Sig Sauer fiber optic sight. And I put the dovetail for this rear sight, which frankly is not the rear sight for this gun. It just had the right size dovetail, so I grabbed it so he could measure it and cut it. Um, this was sort of an experimental site for use with an Express Sight Systems Big Dot. And while it works passably with the uh, SIG Fiber Optic Front Sight, I, I could do better. So I'm going to fabricate a sight out of aircraft aluminum that will be properly dialed in. Uh, one other change, because yesterday at the range, um, it did not, it took two or three hits on every single cartridge to fire my MagSafe primed hand loads, not MagSafe, MagTech, sorry, my MagTech primed hand loads. And uh, so I installed a heavier mainspring and a slightly heavier firing pin. And so hopefully that will help things out in that regard. Other than that, the gun is unchanged since last time. And so thank you very much to my friend Ernie for milling these sights at the cost of a couple gray hairs. And uh, that's about it for changes. So the gun is approaching completion. Yes, there are still some niggling details, and it needs to be properly finished. The plan had been to do the slide in rust blue, and the frame in gun coat, probably in a color as similar as I can get to the Be Blasted Aluminum, because I very much like the look of this. And before I get to refinishing this gun, I will be doing part two of this project, which is a second gun. Yes, there will be two Latter-day Detonics. So stay tuned for that. I'd like to shout out to my Patreons. You really help all of this happen. Um, and um, if you like the video, please hit like. It just takes a second and really helps the channel. If you want to see more of these videos, subscribe, and if you wish to become a Patreon supporter, there's a link in the description below. So, I hope this finds you well. Stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you again real soon.